Okay, so in this video, I will show you how to replace your DVD drive with this. Okay, so what I've got here is a hard drive caddy that will go in place of your DVD drive. And I'll show you how I got that out of the laptop here in a second. Most laptops have a 9.5 millimeter or a 12.5 millimeter hard drive, or I'm sorry, DVD drive enclosure. So usually you just flip it over, the laptop over, and there'll be a screw on the back, maybe two or three screws that you take out, and then you can just slide this drive out. And, oh look at there, it's got a special screwdriver with it too. And then I can take hard drive and put it in here and now I've got additional storage space in my laptop. So what I did previously, and you can see that in another video, is I've installed a solid state drive into my Toshiba Satellite S55D. And so now I'm taking the old drive that was in it and I'm going to have it as a secondary drive. Go ahead and shut down the laptop. Love solid state drives. Okay. And let me flip it over here. Okay, so in my case, the DVD drive slid in right here, and there's a single screw right here that I had to take out. So I've taken that out, pulled this drive out. Like so. And now we'll install the new drive. Right in there like so. And then the screws will go right here on the bottom to hold it in. Now in the past I've used the USB caddies and I really like those because you can move them from one computer to another. But in this case I wanted just more storage space and faster storage space. So again the SSD drive went in as my main drive and then I can use the old drive as additional storage space. That's why you should never tighten them until you get them all in. All right. Yeah, it's got a little fake door <laughs> to go on it too. Okay, so it's got a little fake door to go on here too. Which in theory you should just snap on. There we go. Like so. There we go. All right, so after transferring the hard disk into the bay, one last thing you want to do is mount it mounted on the back of your bay is probably a little tab so you can screw it in. So remove that tab. I've already unscrewed this one. And transfer it over to the new hard drive enclosure. That way you can... That way you can screw it in uh, using the screw hole right here and keep it from popping out on you accidentally. Now if you need to swap in and out your DVD drive with this drive occasionally, then you might want to leave it out. Slide the drive back in. There we go. And put the screw back in that holds the drive in. Boot it up, see what happens. Okay, once you get the hard drive swapped out, if you previously had an OS in there, you may do 
you may need to go and change the boot options. So to do that, go in, in Windows 10, um, let me back up. In some laptops you can simply hit the F keys, the F1, 11, or, or whichever one to go into the boot menu. But with Windows 10, a lot of that's bypassed with the way it boots up. So if you need to go in and change your boot options, go into settings, Okay, then we go to Update and Security. Okay, you can go to your Recovery Options. Click on Advanced Startup. Click Restart Now. Okay, then you'll be returned to this screen. Select Troubleshoot. And Advanced Options again. Now then, you can just simply click right here hit restart and now reboot into your bio settings and of course from the bio settings you can go in here and change your boot options so what I did is I put the uh, the ODD which is the optical drive which is actually now a hard drive I put it as the last option and the hard drive as the first option and of course hit F10 save and exit Mine are already correct, so I'm just going to exit without saving. So for right now, I essentially have a dual boot system, and you can go into your dual boot options and have it boot to the other drive, but I don't want to do that because that drive is so stinking slow. So there we go. Um, now I have the solid state drive, and I have my old hard drive in there as the backup as soon as it boots up here. Click on that. Click on this PC. Oh, I have an SD card in also. That's the SD card. So there's the old drive. So there you go. Now I have dual drives on a laptop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching.